goodness, buddy, you are all worked up this morning. Those stray cats roaming around the, the campground has got you. Oh, look at that. That eye is doing much better. It's a nice, calm Monday morning now, November the 14th, 2022. 10.30 in the morning and I'm out here once again in Andersonville, Georgia. Yes, I know, it's the second time I've been here. Third time I've, third or fourth time I've been here on the channel. Oh, there's a turkey just walking around out here in the campground. Where'd it go? Over there, okay. Yeah. Just forging around. Big old turkey. I think the camp host, the camp host actually lives right here, right there. And I think she feeds them as well as a lot of uh, cats that just kind of wander around here too. And there's where I'm staying. Right next to the shower house. So the fair and Waycross, Georgia. <laughs> it turned out to be a really good fair. It was a whirlwind out there. And um, I was staying at a campground that was quite literally 16 minutes away from the fairgrounds. And the campground was almost completely empty, except for some people that were staying there for a few months at a time. But uh, around me, there was, there was nobody. And I was right next to a shower house there where I pretty much had the whole shower house to myself. And the... Uh, the fair didn't start until five o'clock on the weekdays. So I got to sleep in and take hot showers and cook and do my video editing and and uh, just kind of relax and uh, still technically be working. <laughs> and I mean, the Saturday was a 12 hour day. So, you know, I did, I did put in some hard work hours, but uh, for the most part, it was a very profitable fair that wasn't too hard to do. It wasn't it wasn't a strain. It was really nice. And um, yeah, so after that that hard 12-hour day, and then uh, Saturday I broke down, and then Sunday uh, the next day I went to church, and then I came here to to Andersonville, about to head back to Tennessee. I'm doing the short walk down to the little diner down here to see if they got some breakfast left. It's only 10.30 in the morning. They probably got some breakfast. Uh, as, as much as I like the adventure and the fast pace of, of the traveling lifestyle, there are times when I truly value the, uh, the respites and the, the peace and quiet. And uh, that's, that's why I come to Andersonville. That's what it gives me. Never fails to deliver on that. There it is, the Easterlands County Store and the Little, little Drummer Boy Museum. Oh, they're closed today. All right, so there's no breakfast this time. It's okay, I've got some eggs and stuff in the camper. This had been built by Gar, Grand Army of the Republic. Uh -huh. So this is what it looked like when the National Park took over. And this is the hill, this is before they built the uh, North Gate. See, they don't have the trees. This is early 70s. This is where the water was flowing. This was the natural spring. Okay. And that's when it flooded in 1981 at the same place. Isn't that wild? Huh. The same month. 
So that's Two basically a floodplain, then, isn't it? Isn't that wild? Didn't it flood once during the time the prisoners were there? Yeah. Yeah, it washed out one of the gates, right? Yeah. Yeah, and they were like so saving it was the planks. In the same and... month, August yeah. of. You had August of eighteen sixty four, August of nineteen eighty one, uh -huh. August of two thousand and fifteen. This is the water source that's flowing into from Pioneer Farm. Okay. All the way in. The spring is up here. It's not even part of that water source. Oh, okay. It's from another aquifer that's in the ground. Okay. And when it rained, the rain, the water rushed so far and fast from the water source mm -hmm. that it actually uncovered, because there was debris all around here, and covered that debris. Okay. And... That's when that water source started flowing again. Well, it's right at 5 o'clock now, still on Monday, November the 14th. And I'm back out in Lumpkin, Georgia at Providence Canyon. We've got less than an hour before the sun sets. So you can see from the shadow hitting the other side of the canyon there. And my goal is to do a watercolor painting today before it gets too dark to see and capture at least some of this natural beauty out here. I'm completely out of my depth. I'm, I'm normally doing log cabins in small town city squares or mom and pop businesses that I really like. Things like that. But to do a nature scene like this that is so far removed out of what you ordinarily see at a downward angle. This is going to be a challenge but I'm up to the challenge let's let's give it a try sun has set and we have run out of light but here's what I've got it's not too bad what do you say there little buddy you happy to be home enjoying that sun Well, guys, I'm back in the studio, back home, back in Tennessee, and probably not getting back on the road until, I don't know, sometime in the middle of uh, January. So, yeah, we got uh, the Christmas light show, Thanksgiving, all of that coming up. So, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to indicate so by giving me the good old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to reading your comments, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.